All right, guys. Nate here at Rebel Liners. Um, I'm not about slandering any names. Um, this mattress that we got, um, it's a really high-quality mattress. I'm not going to give a name in this. You will find it in my other videos. My wife hated it. It was a very uncomfortable sleep for us. It just it wasn't the right fit. We ended up with a three or four inch foam mattress on top of it because she didn't like the mattress. This upgraded mattress, which has caused this bed to sit incredibly high. And we're short people, so we're not happy. Um, again, the, the mattress was a super high quality mattress. Uh, we've slept on it for a year. Uh, we're not happy with it. <laughs> All right, so no rocket science here. Setup instructions. Unbox. Unroll. Expand. This is the Wilderness RV mattress. A lot of people recommended this. Apparently made in the USA. Unless it's just a box that was made in the USA. Um, they're located in Arizona. Um, this is the... Um, Montana Hybrid Vest. It's the queen with the soft pillow top. Again, I'm not bad mouthing the mattress that we've already put in there. Um, it's sitting there right now. It may be the best mattress you ever owned. It was not the mattress for me and my wife. Maybe you're just a weekend warrior. We spent a lot of time in the camper. Um, and the sleeps weren't good for us. The foam helped that we put on top, but it just made it too high. It's gotten to be ridiculous. So here's the Wilderness RV mattress. And a lot of people have highly recommended this. And we're going to find out. So this baby weighed 98 shipping pounds. Again, this is the uh, RV or Wilderness mattress RV. And it's the Montana Hybrid. We're really excited about it. And pretty much all it says is the same thing. If you look at our other, other video and you'll see the other mattress that we did. Um... If you look at the other video and see the mattress that we did, um, it was the same thing. You'll see what brand it was. Again, that may be the best mattress you've ever had. Um, everybody's recommending this. And here it is. So, we like trying new products here. That's what we're all about. So let's see what this bad boy is going to be like. It says to unroll in the instructions as we look at. If you remember in the other video, I had to cut the other one, which was kind of dangerous. A lot that you don't here. That looks like we got to spin it. It's going to go this way. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so right now I'm trying to decipher the top from the bottom. And this is definitely going to be the bottom. And I can already hear it starting to like almost leak. So we were doing well until we had it upside down, I guess. It's definitely going to be way easier to turn this around now than it will be after it expands. All right, so there we are. It looks like we're going to have to, um, wow. Okay, she's going in a real hurry. <laughs> well, uh, I'm able to use my pocket knife a good distance away from it. Not like the other one, I had to get really close. It was making me nervous when I was doing that video. Essentially going to be it.
Oh, wow. Just the feel difference is unbelievable. It's that softer that she was looking for. Hopefully the wife's gonna love it. Um, we got it flipped around. I saw the video quick and just flipped it around so you didn't have to watch me wrestle it. Um, again, at this point, um, watch the other video. You can see we did an altercation on this bed size. It's what they call a short queen. The measurements and the links and everything will be posted underneath in my bio. But everyone was recommending this mattress. And I thought, you know what, we need to try it. So here it is. It's the Wilderness RV mattress. This is the Montana Hybrid. Check out our other videos. You'll see the other mattress that we were getting rid of that we tried that we weren't happy with. Life, happy life. All right, guys, so you take your old mattress out. You're not sure what you want to do with it. Um, you can buy these Ziploc uh, vacuum bags. They actually work pretty well. You can get them on Amazon. And this will allow you to suck this right down. We're only five minutes into it. We are using a pretty heavy duty commercial vacuum. But it's a great way to keep this mattress uh, stored and clean. And we're only probably six minutes in at that. And we're shrinking this thing right down to nothing. We'll be able to store it away. Maybe give it to someone that's looking for a high quality firm mattress because this one just wasn't for us. Alright, this thing is condensed down to nothing, this old mattress. Look at this. This is awesome. Comes with four straps. We should be able to roll it up as the picture shows. You can see it? It's the full queen up to 14 inches thick. So you can see there was a lot of access left. But perfect. We're going to roll this bad boy up now. And look at that. What a way to store it. We probably got to roll it tighter and possibly even suck more out of it. But that's a great way to store it. And keep it in uh, perfect condition because it's still brand new. I will put a link in the bio from Amazon uh, what bag I used or where I got it or what it cost. I think it was like $26. Just want to show you this quick tip and trick for storing your old mattress. All right, seven nights, seven nights. Best sleep we've ever had in a camper, and I'm not just saying it. World of difference, the right mattress for us. Uh, wilderness, uh, Montana. Um, that's the that's the, the mattress, as you guys know. Uh, wilderness RV, you guys did a phenomenal job. Uh, we haven't slept this good in a camper in a long time. Strongly recommend this mattress, and that's no joke. Not getting anything out of it. I'm telling you, this is the best mattress we've ever owned. Guys, make sure you hit subscribe down in the corner. Check out our other videos and contents. Till we meet again, Nate Rebel Liners.